Welcome back to Apollo Justice. Last time, we had a little spar with Mistalia, and we found out a habit of hers, but we didn't really go anywhere yet. So, um, let's continue with this testimony, I suppose. Nothing happened, you warned him and left. How did Mr. Dr. Hackett respond to the warning? Oh, he was quite surprised. Panicky, even. Who wouldn't be scared to learn that Kataki was after them? Incidentally, this court is not afraid of any mobsters. Why, we had a life-threatening situation just yesterday, right here in this courtroom. Yeah, real impressive the way you set the attack of the amazing Mr. Hat, sir. Not the which I care due to the effect of your chambers. Sounds like the judge is quite a fright. Nothing happened in Dr. Shock's office that day, huh? But what about the mess we found? Something definitely happened in that office, Apollo. I know, I know. We can't prove when it happened. Why did Lita tell I was in way involved? We'll try putting some evidence up anyway. So maybe she went to the clinic just to warn him. You know why she went to Apollo? Trying to figure out what happened. Okay, yes, yes. Hmm. I mean, we have the bullet. It's in the safe. Maybe? Let's just throw some evidence at it and see what happens. The bullet. You say nothing happened in the doctor's office. I disagree. Take a look at this. What's that? Looks like a squished up ball of clay. Kinda like you, actually. This bullet was found in the Bataka's clinic office. Something did happen in that office, Miss Talia. No, that's choking around. Let's investigate the clinic. Ah, but this is stuck inside the doctor's safe. Inside the safe? This police didn't check that far. But there is a problem. How can you say that the bullet was fired on that day? Aren't you the one who explained rifling marks to us? This was taken from the Taki Mansion that day. The marks on this bullet matched the murder weapon. It proves the firearm was discharged the office on the day of the murder. Not bad, Hefohead. Bailiff, have this bullet analyzed immediately. 30 minutes later, report arrives. Roughly marks on both bullets are identical. Well, well. Well, it seems that those of the bullet in the safe was fired from the murder weapon. Perhaps the defense would like to state their position. The bullet in that safe proves one fact. Pistol was fired in that office on that day. At the time of the firing, the safe was open. The safe which contained the top secret chart. You think someone was threatening Dr. Matakis? In order to open the safe. Only one person was in position to do such a thing. Her witness, Miss Alita Talalia. Order, order, order! Your justice, where are you going with this? Are you accusing the witness? Alita Talalia knew about Waki's botched operation. You could engage to him without telling her about it. As long as that bullet remained in his chest, his days were numbered. But if she married him, then the bullet finally reached his destination. W what? That reminds me. Apparently, the Kotakis have been asserting themselves in unlawful business practices. They've been making quite a great deal of money. A fortune, if you will. Nefarious, so she planned to marry him just to get her hands on this fortune. Uh, did she object? Waki? You talk trash about my leader. And I'll sue you, lawyer man. What? Uh, me? Yeah. You said... You said you'd... 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 You'd abuse my leader. I think you mean accuse. Same difference. We can't have her. She's mine. It was me. I shot that doctor. Me. Left me to die, so let them to die, too. They're in that park. W Waki, just cool down a second, please. Keep your hands off my leader, or I'll... He... <laughs> Miss Talia? I I'm sorry, I just... It's been so long since I left so hard. Let's find something funny. Waki, they come and smell the reality. Uh, uh, Alita, baby? The signature on the chart. The engagement. I mean, come on. It's so obvious. 
Even for a brainless, spoiled brat such as yourself. Alita. Your honesty is like a breath of foul air, Fraulein. Hey, I wasn't getting out of this clean anyway. So the family fortune's what you're really after. That's right. I wanted the money. W no way! That's whack! I ain't trying to hear that. Shut down the wedding earlier. Oh well. By the way, can I ask you a question? Who? Me? I believe you said you were going to abuse me? Accuse. Of what crime, may I say? Huh? Oh, I'm a bad girl, sure. I got close to that brat because I wanted his money. But he was the one with the pistol. He could have fired it in the safe after I'd already left the clinic. What? We'd we'll never do a thing like that. It was definitely that silly brat. Wait, but... What are you talking about? Juicy. You had the most to lose with that chart was found. But I didn't have the pistol, now did I? B well, you could have taken walkies. I think you did mention that, no? I've heard a lot say it. it was me. I shot him. That's only because he's trying to protect you. So I didn't shoot him in this lovely conversation. But the two of you are forgetting one critical point. W what point? Certainly, the Fraulein wanted that chart. You assume she threatened the doctor and opened the safe, but then... Wouldn't she have taken the chart? Oh. You see, the chart wouldn't have been left in that safe. Ah, uh, he's he's right. Miss Alitalia? Yes? I clear this court that you are not a very good fiancé. Oh, I'm flattered. That was the time you told us the truth. Tell us about yourself, including reactions and whereabouts on that day. Don't forget, that's not who's supposed to be talking. We've proven that you were in the Ritakas clinic on the night of the crime. Day of the crime. Whatever. Close enough. Bertaka's clinic, too. Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak with the doctor. I wanted that chart, but I failed to get it, so I went back to the clinic later. In any case, I didn't shoot him. You didn't even prove that I stole the pistol, do you? That brat was spotted in the park and then I of the crime. Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Bertaka was shot in the temple or not. I went back later? The chart was dangerous, you understand. I need to get rid of it. That's why I went out that day. But you couldn't get the chart then, could you? Then later that night, Dr. Marcus was shot. I heard about the shooting. I waited a day, but I had to go back. No easy feet with the cops all over the place. Ah, that that was you. Ah, a pile of that sound. I came from the door. Somebody was in there. There was a break in. You were the burglar. That was you too. If only I had one more minute. I could have opened that safe and gotten the chart. What? That's trespassing and brazen at that. I was said it's a trial for trespassing now. Besides, you can't put my girlfriend wanting to protect yourself. They are gangsters, you know. In the case, Mr. Justice, you request a mission. a little crime to avoid the big one is. Hmm. What that day? That brat was uncontrollable. He was ready to kill. That would bring in the police. That chart would become evidence. I'd be hung out dry. But the police didn't check the safe, did they? Well, they thought the crime scene was the park. I'll make sure the pots before they feel the heat. Such sloppiness won't be tolerated, yeah? I'm kinda thankful for that sloppiness myself, actually. Failed to get it. Later. When I heard what happened, well, I was too scared to do anything that day. So I waited until the day after. The 16th, was it? Of course, you and that meddling kid had to get in my way. Why did Dr. Patakis keep the chart around? It's clearly dangerous for him, and he could have burned it. Because he's a coward. The chart was his insurance. His insurance? I think it's that chart to be more specific. I made sure I couldn't betray him. But you could have stolen it. 
could have. There's some new definition of proof. Resquaki, he'll tell us. I'm gonna remind you that this is a cross divination. Don't wanna keep racist theories to yourself. Mm, he's right, isn't he? Spotted in the park. Y yeah, but, um. But what? You have nothing to say. This case is over. It's over the moment that Brett was seen in the park. That's the point of dragging it out any further. I think it matters if you shot in the temple or not. Doctor was shot in the right temple, yes? So it seems. Let's review the facts again, shall we? The killer shot from this location. Bullet would have struck the victim square in the forehead. However, the entry wound was in the right temple. Yes, we were a testimony in this yesterday. At the time of the shooting, Ramirez was standing here. This is where the gun was fired. He shouted. The victim turned his head to look and was shot. No, it was the other way, actually. The testimony was proven to be a lie. Our, our, our egregious panty snatcher, Mr. Stickler, did witness the crime, but he was standing to the north next to the trash can where he tossed those panties. Mr. Stickler shouted from his location the poet couldn't hit his right temple. Sidley, Sidley, attorney. What? Do you remember what you said for breakfast that morning? Do you remember, Trucy? I always have a glass of milk for breakfast. What matters is one thing, the doctor was shot in his right temple. That's the case, there will be one explanation. Panty's guy was mistaken. This location is proven. Get rid of that office being, being mistaken. Objection! Then why don't you show us our forehead? Show you what? Let's explain everything. Very well. Let's recap. Witness the panty sky was standing. <laughs> if the witness panty sky was standing to the north, then where was the shooter standing? From what location did the killer shoot the victim? But wait, the witness was standing there. How can anyone shoot the victim in the right temple? <laughs> I'm really they got the facts for us. It's up to the one possessing the shiny forehead to show us. If you can, that is. Why are you talking about saying the killer mark? Was he sacred to witness mark? Of course, to help protect the victim mark. Let's hear the differences to say. Where is the killer standing when they were shot the victim? Somewhere else. This fact stand now, we can't explain this crime. Without contradicting yourself at some point. But I know why. The killer was shot from an entirely different location. What are you talking about? I don't see any other place. Apparently, Mr. Justice does. Let's hear it. Where in the park did the killer shoot the victim from? It's time to raise the roof. And the stakes. Eh? Those are such frightening things, don't you think? What if they were a bit more terrifying? Don't play your air guitar to raise the penalty level. Oh, that's worse. Like so. The double penalty. That forehead wishes to take us in a direction. You must be ready for the challenges ahead. Challenge accepted. It's for justice time. Are you sure, Apollo? He is the witness, Mr. Stoker's testimony. We believe that, and we know where he stood. The victim turned when he shouted. There's only one place the killer could have been. They just shot the victim from... the cart. Believe we all have a dead of gratitude. To Mr. Alita Talalia. What do you mean? Thanks to you, we had a chance to review the crime. And this time, we were prepared. We know that Whistler Stickler was telling the truth. We should have listened to him from the beginning. When he was actually telling the truth. Whistler Stickler was standing next to the trash can when he saw the two men. He shouted just as he told us in his testimony. And the victim turned to the left in his direction. A shot was fired. The was hit in the right temple. Oh no. Oh yes. Which direction was his right temple facing at that moment? That's right, towards the noodle stand. Order, order, order! So you're saying... Killer was inside the noodle stand. 
Let's think about this a bit more, shall we? They say the killer was inside the noodle stand. Which would mean the victim, Dr. McDuck, came to the park. Wheeling as one murderer in the cart behind him. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I think you'd notice you're pulling someone along. There's something we should worry about before that. Why was he pulling the noodle stand in the first place? Let's deal with our problems one at a time, shall we? Someone was hiding in the stand. We've not come this far to talk about the possibilities. Let's talk about proof, baby. Show us evidence that proves someone was in that stand. Can I prove that? Can I that someone was in that stand? I mean, I have it. Kind of. I have it. I've got it right here. Intriguing. Let's see what you've got. Show us proof that someone was standing in the noodle stand. The bowl. That's prosecutor Gavin. We have a choice between heaven or hell. Either our brains are damaged or half our heads is. I wonder which it is. This court finds the justice brain faulty. By majority vote. Ah! I mean, that's evidence though, right? I mean, eh. I'm showing the right evidence this time. Show us proof that someone was hiding in the noodle stand. I mean, it was empty. The slippers? Madaka's clinic, and they're covered with paint. The slippers were found in the trash can near the crime scene. And... A single slipper was found at the scene. Right next to the noodle stand. Eck. Oh, and Miss Tully, your toe perk was found in the left slipper. Er. In other words, this is proof you're hiding inside the noodle stand. Eek! But there's only one slipper marked behind the scene. Can this be called a footprint in good faith? Observe the diagram. Park with everyone's right next to slipper mark. Slipper wouldn't leave a trace in a cobblestone tank. Yet you claim not to say it's a footprint, huh? Why not? You have an impression left by a single slipper. What if it was on the stand and somebody fell to the ground? That's... that's just dumb. One more thing. Noodles didn't typically clutter with the tools of the tool noodle making trade. There's no room for a person to write in there. Hmm, he have a point. There's someone have hidden in that stand. Apollo, I think I might be onto something. I think I figured out one of our pieces of evidence. Or to make room in the stand, something's gonna be... Oh, Mr. Justice, you have proof that someone could have hidden in the stand. I can prove one thing. Someone did scheme to clear space in that stand. The bowls. This is what I was trying to get at earlier, but you, you all looked at me and called me a... a dummy. This is a noodle bowl from the stolen Aldoon noodle stand. Yes, and what about it? We sold a large quantity of these bowls yesterday. In the lobby of the Intox Clinic. A large quantity of noodle bowls in the victim's clinic. Mr. Aldoon was very clear about those bowls. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were in there, too. And the bowls were removed. That night, there was space inside the noodle stand. This created at the Murtakis Clinic, no less. Throw in the time between you were there, Miss Alita Talia. Stop! I will listen any more of these wild fantasies. No, not fantasies. They're worse than lies than that, that, that spoils about pickup lines. I'd like to remind the witness of her current status. This court does not consider you entirely innocent. So be innocent, I'll show you a fairy tale. In any case. Vince has somehow made its point. Vince had both a motive and opportunity to kill Dr. Murtakis. More fairy tales. This whole trial is a fairy tale. And please pull us back down to reality, Miss Talia. Give me one last chance to explain yourself. This is it. Why was Dr. Murtakis pulling that stand that night? What was Alita Talia doing inside it? Time to get to the bottom of this case. Alita's explanation. That night, I went to ask Dr. Murtakis for the chart. I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Taki family's hands. Dr. Murtakis didn't understand. 
some reason he thought he'd attack his sent me. So I gave up and went home. I had, all I did was talk to him. You knew about that botched operation. You tried to get rid of the chart to save yourself. I don't make excuses. I did warn the good doctor. I gave him a chance. I told him that Brett got his health checkup report. That he was coming to settle the score. Hmm, I see. Very well, Mr. Justice. Begin your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. This is the last testimony. Either I perceive the truth or it's over. Perceive, you say? Hmm. Well, we'll see if we can do that next time. So until then.